Welcome, everybody. So my name is Chad, and I'd like to welcome Tony Ann to the show today. Hi. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm trying some new stuff tonight, okay? I couldn't, I couldn't hear you, so then all of a sudden, you I was on the screen. Yeah, I'm trying some new stuff tonight and some new tech. So um, okay. in order to, to mute the mic when I was doing the whole uh, countdown timer thing, countdown timer is what all the really cool streamers do, so... Mm -hmm. I was just trying to, to come back in and get that going. But anyways, Tony Ann, welcome to the show tonight. Thanks. I was just calling you back because last week or, or last episode, the Disney Crushers kind of came in and, and took over. So and and we've had a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a throwdown this week. OK, yeah, but it's all in fun. Oh, yeah, we're, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, so we're all any, together. <laughs> anyways, I, I brought you on today to just give a word of encouragement here to the uh, to your your team and and help okay. them get get things rolling okay guys so tonight we're going to be talking about animal kingdom right chat mm -hmm. and i know you guys know this and i'm so happy that you guys have joined us tonight and to the geeks i'm glad you're here too i was i was trying to get people from both sides to come on and i'm so happy that everyone's here tonight and um we're gonna have a lot of fun i think and any any teasing back and forth is just that. We're just oh yeah 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 yeah. We have fun because I think you know you and I were both geeks before we started our own shows. So <laughs> yes. right. So we yeah. owe we owe a lot to Kurt. So anyways, yeah. let me bring Kurt back into the show as well. And so Kurt, hey, now you did a little bit of a throwdown for the geeks today. <laughs> yes, I was encouraged. I was getting <laughs> insider tips telling me I gotta. Bring on the gang and gotcha. See if we can give Tony in. And I don't know, where's Dave? Is he not joining in? He's on a date with his wife tonight. So. What? <laughs> you can do that. I guess Disney Springs is open. Is that why? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I, if, if they drove over, didn't that went a little bit of a drive for you guys? Yeah. No, yeah. I think uh, I think they stayed somewhere local. He's an overnighter. But, yeah. Gotcha. But um, yeah, yeah but I, my little bird told me, Glenn Kessler told me. Come on in and give a challenge to the Disney crushers. He reports back to the pod father. <laughs> I, you know, yeah, because because I, I saw everything. that Mama was joining us this week, and I was like, oh, "You're I'm in nervous. real trouble, right?" Yeah, I'm You're nervous about Mama because I know she knows a lot. She yeah. is. I gotta tell you, going back, I remember on our on our wedding when we we did our honeymoon in in Jamaica, mm -hmm. and Trivia Pursuit was big back then, right? Right, remember and. So we did a trivia pursuit with a bunch of couples, I remember, in the main hall, and we won, and mostly because of her. Right. And I want to know, I was telling Chad, Auntie Judy and I won a trivia contest in Hollywood Studios recently on our last trip with the Hollywood stars. So you're in big trouble, Tony. Uh oh, tonight. I'm nervous. Yep, yep. Well, any final words of encouragement here for the geeks tonight there, there Kurt? <laughs> Well, thanks for joining and having fun with us. This is great. I'm, I'm seeing lots of our geeks joining in, figuring out the technology, how to get two devices going. You know, they're pretty smart. So I'm excited yeah, yeah. for them to. And, and just so everybody knows, if you want to go ahead and get, I put the, the link to the first game in the show, but you'll just come into crowd.live and then use the keyword Pandora yeah. or crowd.live slash Pandora. Just bring it up in any smartphone. Yep. It's really low data requirements. You could be on Wi-Fi. You could be on data. It's it's really just text. Good. And right. when you do that, it'll ask for your name, your email address, because eventually I'll figure out how to email people and, and give them reminders to come back on. Mm -hmm. And then it'll ask you to pick a team. And if you want to play for a team, it's all fun and games. We're just having some extra fun doing the, the talk on that. But you could put it in there, and it, at the end of the night, we might even do a mid mid like a halftime report on team rankings just to see where we stand tonight but at the end of it we'll come back in and see which podcast family had the uh the best of it there so, logged in all right right all so. right good luck kurt yes good luck to you tony ann you know people thought you were really mad at me today people were te were texting me i think kurt's really mad at you <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I start this? <laughs> Wasn't I the wise guy? <laughs> but people are concerned. To know that we're still friends. That's funny. But I knew, I knew once they brought the brought once once the Podfather got into this, mm -hmm. it's game over. Because I mean, 
Kurt, you've got to have the best schooled podcast yeah. crowd out there. Because, yeah. I mean, you do like two, two and a half hour shows. Right. And they're in, they're, they are deep. They are in depth every week. <laughs> Thanks. So yeah. I got a bunch of uh, round tables coming up. I got, I'm editing one right now. I got three in a row. So I, I reached out to my, you know, after all this time, guys, I've interviewed like, I don't know, 150 people. So I got a little bit of a pool to dig into yeah. <laughs> to find folks. And a bunch of them came on. I brought on some of those. And then I reached out to my um, uh, uh, Patreon people, too, and brought did a group with them. And then also my first, I reached out to the first five people that were on my podcast. I got four of the five of them on. And I'm going to do a show with, you remember Lisa Green in the Disney Exchange. Yeah. I'm going to do a retro show with them. I'm trying to get a hold of Lisa. Lisa's been really busy with this. This whole thing has been work wise a pain for her. So, but yeah, it's kind of fun. I've got some old, old timers that have been around for a while too. So it's kind of fun. You know, I've been thinking, I've, I've met so many people that are, everyone who's logging in here, I've met a lot of these people. So it's kind of cool in person. Yeah, that is cool. I think that's, I met, um, you probably a lot of these people at your meetup mm -hmm. right there in October. Yeah. So, and I see Dan Austin there. I met him and his wife and the three kids. They were a lot of fun. There's Glenn. Let's see. Judy Ludwig, of course, Travis. I haven't met yet. Andy Hoffman. I met at the, um, Oh, Jock Lindsay's. So I see Amanda bond. I've met. Yeah. So cool. I see a bunch of folks joined in. I don't see my wife yet. I hope she's on. <laughs> Yeah, we'll come back in. And uh, so Glenn was saying pod father and oh, yeah. you're getting some shout outs. And There's Travis a, yeah, was saying, I got a picture I, just like that. Okay. How so do I play? Tell Travis how to play, Chad. Yeah, it's it's right down there at the bottom. Just go to oh, any browser on your smartphone and type in that address, crowd.live slash Pandora. Then you'll put your um, name, email address in the phone. And when you're you're ready and waiting, let me come back in and hit share screen. I see Scott Daves. I met Scott. Scott was wearing his Disney Crush t-shirt when I met him. That seems to be going around. Happens a Got lot. It. This little <laughs> tiny window right here is emulating what you'd see on a on a cell phone. It's kind of my little test platform that that I kind of play in. So when you're when you're all signed in, you'll get that. And then I can look at the software on the back end and go, we have 80 people playing tonight. Wow. So that is incredible guys to be on this early and going. And so, yeah, I think, we're, I think our, uh, our pumping it up worked, which I'm really, yeah, happy about. yeah, I think so. I mean, then I think we're, we're finally starting to pick up some momentum and steam and I keep trying new technology and guys, I'm going to keep trying it and I'm just going to keep messing things up as I go, mm -hmm. but it'll keep getting better every time. So that's all I can tell you. Right. So anyways, let me bring in Yuli into the show because she's our quiz writer tonight. And so, hey, Yuli, how you doing? Hi, great. Thanks. Yuli. Thanks for having me. Oh, good deal. Now, what can you tell us about this first set of questions? Um, it's focused entirely on Pandora, the, the land Pandora. So at first I thought, how the heck am I going to write 10 questions about such a tiny area? But then I ended up with 13 and gave him three alternates. So <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. So Once I like alternate questions as Once a quiz writer. Creativity starts going, you know, you can't turn it off. Right. Well, as a quiz writer, every now and then we write a bum question and then like you start to see tomatoes being thrown from the audience and then we can just delete the question and then take it out. So, <laughs> so 13 tonight. Yeah, we will go a little bit late tonight because we've got some really good questions and I can tell you there at the end, I put some three, 400 point questions in there to just wow. like really kind of give people a chance to come back in and, and get things going. And I see you're playing for the crushers tonight. I am. Amanda just commented on it. So I just had to point that out. It's hard to point to it because you don't yeah, know. Everything's here. backwards. On here. Button, huh? so <laughs> I see a geeking so, button there. I had a geeking magnet I was going to wear on the other ear, but I couldn't get the Velcro to stick. I sure I away all mine. <laughs> got it. Got it. And Glenn, Thanks for the reminder here. So just so everybody knows, the uh, My DVC Points Patreons are the people who pay for the software and do this. So if you're interested in supporting the show and coming back in and helping cover the cost on this, it costs probably around $90 a month to put this thing on uh, between the software and everything else. So if you're interested, patreon.com slash My DVC Points. If you're our guest tonight, 
come in and join us, right? It, it's completely optional. We'll eventually get it all paid for and figured out, but that's just a, a great way to come back in and, and do this. And the backstory behind our show tonight is President Trump did it this challenge way back in the, the early part of the Pandora. And he said, hey, look, all of you social media people, you need to come out here and do something to get people to stay home and stay safe and start spreading the message. And I was like, well, I, I, I look and I do a live and I might have four, three, 4,000 views between shares and everything else, but I don't really consider myself a, a influencer and other people kind of beg to differ with me. So what I did was I figured out, okay, what can I do for my technology, for my background? And I figured out how to put all this stuff together into a, a live mouse quiz. And we're doing this to help people stay home, stay safe and stay magical. And so through the, the lockdown period, we are doing two shows a week. Afterwards, we'll probably just go to this Friday show. So that's a little bit of the backstory there. But that being said and done, um, thanks, Julie. Thanks uh, for writing the questions. I'm going to go ahead and kick this round off. Yeah, go so, ahead. yeah, I think we've got enough people on and we're probably a little behind schedule, but that's OK. So let me kick off the music here and it'll be about 15 seconds before the show kicks in.
All right. Well, congratulations to Ice, Kalen, and WW Dinks. So let's come back in and bring everybody back. So how'd you guys do? <laughs> I read too slow. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, my gosh. I made a dumb, I think I, well, I remember early on, I made a dumb choice. I knew it right away too. Yeah. <laughs> Good fun. Nice questions. Good job, Yui. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I want get, to know who I want to know who picked um um sycamore retriever as the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I like wh wh where is the exit? Where is the yeah the ride exit? They all most all of them right, exit out of gift shops. So they exactly. exit out of the gift shop, right? Yeah. So Dan's saying he wants to know more about question three here. So let me come back in and see if I can pull that up. So, oh, that was the yeah. result summary. Yeah, we'll just the largest animatronic. You know, I bet it's a dinosaur. I I messed that one up too because that was the one. I was the one I messed up because it's the most lifelike animatronic on property. But it's the most advanced. But it's yeah. not the most. It's not the largest. The Yeti is actually the largest, regardless of whether or not it works all the works time. Not? Okay. <laughs> The I was going to say the Yeti or Ursula had to be my, my guesses there. Yep. Okay. And so, yeah, we got a couple of comments on that one and quite a few people got that one wrong on the true false. We did well there. We did well. Sigourney Weaver, Microparasites. We did well. Sivako. Okay. The dragon at Phantasmic. Was that an animatronic? I don't think so. Robin yeah, it could be. Too. Could be. Could be considered. Well, I don't know if it's machine done or probably is. I don't. I don't think they've a got great cast question in there me. doing it. That was a great question for me to mess up because it's such a stunning animatronic that when you said largest, it just kind of yeah, that's what it is. It's yep. the largest, uh, which was dumb. I knew it was dumb right after I, as I did it. Yeah, it, it looks like you got a bunch of people here on this um, uh, Valley of Moara question yep, yep that was half and half yeah that one was half and half and then the rest of them we we did fairly well on so Sigourney weaver yeah that glenn says Sigourney weaver was in the ride she's in the pre-show yeah that was a good one yeah i didn't know that hmm. good deal well, okay thanks guys for for joining in let me figure out i think alicia wrote the next set so i'm gonna drop you guys down and kurt you can go just go back to playing so thanks for popping right. in Thanks. For okay. And thanks, Yuli. Absolutely. Anytime. I had so much yep. fun. I'm going to. Yep. 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 And so, oh, I clicked that a little too soon. But anyways, welcome back, Alicia. Hello. And I think you're on mute right now. So, oh, there we go. Maybe it's just a Hello? little delayed or something. Yeah, you you're down? lagging out or a little delayed or something. Yeah, I can. It's just a little bit delayed. So um, that being said and done, if we're going to have some audio issues there, maybe we'll see if we can fix those or something. Can you real time or it's still delayed? Got it. Okay. Well, we'll just go on with this next set of questions. Everybody should be warped over. Can you hear me, Chad? Yeah. I can, but you're just delayed. Okay, it's just seriously delayed. So something's you might want to reboot the internet, the PC, that kind of stuff. So okay. Um, so that being said and done, if you're just now joining the show, come over to crowd.live slash AK food. Put your name, your email address, and pick a team if you've got one. If not, pick free agents. And we'll come back in and hopefully during this set. Alicia can reboot and figure out what's going on with the audio issues and the timing there. This is a live show, folks, and we do this from home using the best technology that we can. And a lot of times it works really well. And then there's other times it just makes you pull your hair out if you can't tell. <laughs> so that being said and done, uh, let's go ahead and kick off this next round. And I'm going to come back in and get this thing going. And just now joining crowd.live slash AK food. Let me
me pull that experience up. And it looks like we've got 85 people logged in and ready to go. So we'll go ahead and kick that thing off. And good luck, everybody.
mute button again. I got to work on that. It's just off to this side. So anyways, uh, welcome back, everybody. Congratulations to Jeff, Nancy, Holly. And let's see if Alicia is back and can join us as well. So, hey, Alicia, how are can you? Everyone, can everyone hear me now? Yes, yes. It's it's a weird night of, of issues here. So, <laughs> I yeah, know, I think people... Fine in pre-show. Yeah, I think people did fairly well here. Let's see. Um, let's come back in and and see how this played out. Because I, I, I know some people took one of my false questions here. So let's look over here at the result summary and come back into this and go. So... Looks like I got one person, two people on Captain Hooks with, they they just saw the pork pulled and went went to uh, nachos, and but it was flame true barbecue there, so we got a couple there, and then people did pretty well on this one. I think the bowl gave it away for me was that it was Satuli Canteen, and then. I almost put in parentheses at the end of this one. Where can you eat a Mickey waffle with, with Mickey? That's just kind of weird. But <laughs> I had originally wrote it with Donald, so. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't sure Donald was there all the time. And I think there was something else that I wanted to change in the wording there. And just to get the, uh, like yeah. And so the signature dining one, we did really well on the corn on the cob really well on the garlic knots and then my distractor question here there is no such thing as a snow-capped creamery <laughs> there is a <laughs> snow-capped in pixar land okay or, or uh Parada pixar pier at the very end of it there's a snow-capped treats and so that's where i pulled that from i changed that one there just to make things a little bit interesting and then coming back here, the Tamu Tamu, we did really well. And the elephant ear one, I didn't know. I just guessed off of pastry and bakery. Where's the, where's that at? Oh, Chad, no, I gotta, I can't remember. Okay. I, yep. And then I added this last one here at the end. This was like the the famous drink with all of those like pure sugar. You're going to get a, like a, a tooth is going to fall out from just biting into one of them balls. It's so much sugar kind of a question. So yeah, let's see if, if the crowd has some questions here as well. And so, oh, Ryan is, Ryan was saying it's, oh, it's in Africa. It's where you can get the Mickey cinnamon roll by the safari. So, okay. And Nancy was saying that the tofu bowl is her favorite. And Kurt's doing a little trash talk in here, saying the three geeks are in top. Um, <laughs> that happens to us all the time, Pete, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know it, and you just click the wrong one. And sometimes we do distractor questions just to make it a little bit more fun there. And, and now Glenn's saying that Jeff will poke a place for a different team. <laughs> Yeah, Rob's, you know, uh, getting you there. So I think we've got the, all the comments, questions on this one. So thanks so much for that round of questions. And then this next round of questions is ones that I wrote. And so let me come back in and pull those up. And it looks like we're back over to the show's questions. And this is just 10 shows. I think these are going to be pretty easy. And just to come back in and get, get people some questions and some points on the board, they should be pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Gina and I kind of co-wrote these. I think she did the first four or five, and I did the, the last half. But let's go ahead and kick this off as well. Good luck. Good luck, everybody.
All right. So congratulations to Holly on that round. And let me see, Kaylin and Danielle C. So it looks like you guys did pretty well on that round. Let's see if there was any problem questions. And I'm going to bring Gina in as well, because I had a question on one of them. So let me come back in and do this and then bring Gina back. Hi. So hey, Gina. Hi. Hey. So... Let me, let me just figure out which one this one was. So this was the result summary, number three. Let me just drag this over here. And we did pretty well on the opening day show. Rivers of Light came out in like 2017. 
and then where is up a great bird adventure so that's called the venue is called the caravan theater yes i looked it up ah okay i was on touring plans so if anything's wrong blame touring plans because i went to them for show times and show locations got it got it got it got it yeah so Lindsay, that was a rough one for me too so um <laughs> and Glenn saying the third mimosa is not cooperating with quick reading. So. <laughs> and Tony here said, "Our I hit Minnie's parade because reading is hard." So, yeah, we uh. We have to throw a couple of those fun fun things in there just to kind of separate things out and make you go don't every now and then. So, <laughs> so then theater in wild is for what? Finding Nemo? Yeah, it's the Nemo show. Okay. Yeah. And then the, the Harambe Marketplace has a lot of acts that just perform there. Mm -hmm. And then the Walking Suit Pandora Rangers. That one made sense. The, anim the animation experience is probably the newest one they've got, right? Yep. And I looked again, touring plans. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I actually know a cast member who um, teaches that drawing deal. Oh, great. So I've met him before. And then, oh, question number five, quite a few people got wrong. Between sets, guests are allowed to play on the performance drum used by cast members in Pandora. And they are like cemented in. You can walk right up to them. And so you can play on them all you want to when they're not there performing between sets. So that was kind of fun. And then we got a couple of people on the, the minis jam and jungle parade. And then only two people on the wilderness lodge distractor one. So that one was good. And then this, I'm going to pronounce, I'm going to slaughter the name here. Is it um, Barricada? And I, when I when I was coming across that on touring plans and I saw, hey, that's Swahili to be refreshed. I was like, well, their contract wasn't refreshed and renewed. <laughs> <laughs> and so I thought that was a, a fun question. Yeah. And then yeah. Winged Adventures. Would you believe it? I have never watched that show. I can believe it. I think I've skipped it also. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, so... Brenda here says that she's going to be playing those drums next time we go. They're a ton of fun. They are a ton of fun, especially to let kids sit there and bang on them as well. Mm -hmm. And then we did pretty well on the last two as well. So awesome job on that set, Gina. All right. I'm going to warp us over. Okay, go ahead. Warp us over <laughs> and I will shut this one down. And congratulations to everybody on that set. Let's come back in then when you warp us over. If you're just now joining the show, it won't be shows because Gina's warping us over. She has to run a little process to move everybody from one, one round to the next. And she just did that. So the little behind the scenes tour here. And so Vicky, yeah, Vicky actually wrote these questions. I added on some hard ones at the end just to come back in and see how people are doing. So you know what else I'm going to do here? Let's come back in and let's just do a, a check-in with Teams. I promised one earlier. And so let me hit a button here and see if this shows us how the teams are doing so far. Nope. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. we got to come back in and warp them, and hopefully we got that right tonight. There's 50 million settings that has to go in on this show, so... Anyways, um, okay, uh, I don't, you can't, current team rankings, nope, current player rankings, so yeah, it's, it's waiting for this, so I've already done messed it up. Oh, well, let's go ahead and kick this off, and this is all Animal Kingdom attractions, and if you're just now uh, joining the show, pull up a smartphone, go to crowd.live, and type in D-A-K for the code, and then your name, your email address, and then pick a team. And we'll go ahead and finish this off. There is, let me look at this tonight. There, there are, two, I think there's two really hard ones. Yeah, there's 13 questions and some of them at the end are worth a lot of points. 
So just keep that in mind, folks. Uh, we're just trying to make things fun and fair, but let's go ahead and kick off this game. And we'll get going in about 15 seconds. Good luck. Good luck, everybody. Thank you. 
All right. Well, congratulations to Amy, Skier, Pete, and Megan for coming in as the top three tonight. So um, let's come back in and, and see what questions you guys have on those. And then we'll, we'll answer the questions, and then we'll come back in and see how people did in the cumulative deal. Okay. And, oh, I think Rob... Rob made a comment here. We've all seen before. I have fat fingers. And then Glenn said fat fingers plus Friday night drinking equals bottom down in trivia, Rob. <laughs> yeah. Is it Friday? Isn't that true? Right. And so, yeah, congratulations mama on that one as well. And let's go. Woohoo, thanks to my two zoology degrees and my love of Animal Kingdom. There you go, Amy. There you go. Um, and Nancy was saying those were some questions. It wasn't helpful that I hadn't been on Cali River Rapids. Yes, yes. Cali River Rapids came up in quite a few questions. So, okay. But, and she was saying those were some good questions. Yeah. So, oh, Holly was, was like Noah's Ark, mind blown. Yeah, I actually did an interview, go back to like mydvcpoints.com slash 22s and 23 for those two episodes. I did an interview with McNair Wilson, who was a former Disney Imagineer at the time they were building this. And he was good friends with Joe Rohde and still is and was telling us that Noah's Ark was going to be the original weenie for it but they weren't sure if they could pull it off because it's such a near and dear true religious symbol to so many people. And they eventually ended up coming back in and making it the tree of life. And then somebody built a, a real life size Noah's Ark on I-75 in I think Kentucky, just south of the Ohio border. So yeah, so that kind of happened there. And, and Pete said that he remembered the Noah's Ark thing come back in and just look at some of the other responses here from results summary. And I didn't know if people would know Felicia was shod for Mrs. Huxtable. So I just put her there because that's instantly everybody I go through with. They, they go Mrs. Huxtable. So I think we did good there. The primeval whirl is the time machine coaster. And Expedition Everest is the tallest ride in all of Walt Disney World. That is true at 199.5 feet. It, Rody beat McNair's record at Tower of Terror by six inches. And so he was explaining that one to me in the podcast as well. And most expensive coaster. It doesn't shock me at all. Disney's got deep uh, pockets here. Oh, this is a great question here. This number five, which show is inside Dino Land USA? Countdown to Extinction is the former name for the dinosaur ride. It's not a show. And so it's still not named that today, but Finding Nemo the Musical is technically part of Dino Land. And then 
You guys did really good on this one. And I, I hope you guess you snickered when you saw this there, Micah, the and sign. Let me come back in and we'll add Alicia and Gina here as well. Just have a little bit more commentary. And then I can probably add Yuli and Tony Ann to see if you guys have anything. Add Alicia and Gina here as well. Just have a little bit more commentary. I can probably add Yuli and Tony Ann to see if you guys have uh, one of them is, I think Tony is locked in, okay. in that. So. <laughs> Sorry about that. Like I said, it's live. But anyways, I, I figured Micah would get a, uh, a chuckle out of the and, you know, and because last time he kind of got me on an or question. So, yep. <laughs> yep. And then affection section. I have not been to that one. Neither. And then the name of the river at Kali River. It, everything there is is um you know this Amanda Poor, but not the river name. And then yeah, Kali River Rapids. I think that's part of Asia, right? And it, yeah. Asia was an add-on land. Yeah. If I remember mm -hmm. that correctly, I think that's one that Vicky wrote. And then here's some of them that I wrote. From the opening day's attraction of Big Le Big Red and Little Red, the original story behind the safari is Big Red and Little Red where I believe elephants that poachers came in and got. And you were going on a safari to try to come back in and yeah. find them, but I don't think that story sat too well with little kids, okay? About uh, a little baby elephant getting stolen from its mama. And so I think Disney came back in and corrected that one. And then we already talked about Tree of Life and then Beastly Kingdom. Yeah, mm -hmm. Beastly Kingdom. You can't do an Animal Kingdom trivia show without talking about Beastly Kingdom. Because Beastly Kingdom was a, a theoretical land of mysterious steels. That's why if you look at the logo today for Animal Kingdom, it has a dragon in there. And it's a throwback to Beastly Kingdom that they never, they never did. Never bit. So let's come back in and start to look at some of the summaries here. And I'm going to have to log back in. Accidentally closed my window. Hopefully I got the team to work. Okay. So let's take a look at the, the multiplayer rankings here. And the overall top three would be Megan, Skier, Pete, and Holly. So... Congratulations to you three for a, a job well done tonight. And then I guess we need to come back in and see who won our little showdown here. And let me click this button. And the geeks took it back over. So, I have a significant amount of points. Yay, geeks. So I think they came back in and just really just locked it down. And good job to the geeks tonight, right? So 31.6 questions right out of out of that amount. And then, but the, the crushers, you guys did really well as well. And I think I've got so many people from the MyDVC Points team that are writing the questions and excluding <laughs> that we can't really play. So <laughs> anyways, um, and we'll uh, come back in. I'll pick up some some crowd comments here tonight. And Micah was saying that, uh, yes, he LOL'd, um, not my night for technology, but it's still fun. I feel like that's me tonight. I kept missing that, that mute button. Okay. And I'm with you, Jeff. They could just rip that right out of there and I wouldn't, wouldn't, you know, miss a beat. Primeval hurl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and the boys wanted to go on it once. They were eight, never asked again, yeah. right? And then a little bit of celebration going on. And, you know, Glenn is saying geek, 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 geek. And congratulations from Tony to the geeks. And <laughs> I demand a recount. And just some celebration going on. So, Great. and come back in and good job with the geeking on WDW team. And and dudes and dudes says I don't like that carnival ride. Yeah, me either. And then we'll end it up with this one here that uh, the geek and family rocks. You guys do. So did so do the Disney Crusher. So does everybody who came back in and played tonight. 
So we have a ton of fun putting these games on and just a, just a ton of fun doing this little challenge stuff. Hopefully we brought you a little bit of joy to your uh, Friday night and kick off this Memorial Day weekend. You know, I'd rather be out barbecuing with friends and family and all that, but at least we got to stay home, stay safe, and stay magical tonight as well. And I'll show you that. <laughs> so, yep. And then Judy was saying, this was fun. My first time. I'll definitely be back. And yes, Judy, please keep coming back as well and keep sharing the show out with everybody else. We can get up to 500 people here. And sooner or later, by the end of the year, I'm going to hit that 500 person cap. Okay. <laughs> that is my goal. Okay. That is my absolute goal. And so a couple more comments. Okay. Thanks for all those that did the work on this and thanks for playing. And then uh, so much fun. Thank you. And, and one love. Thank you, Chad, Gina, and Alicia and Vicki as well. Vicki's not feeling well tonight. So she couldn't join us for that part, but we'll be back on Wednesday night. And then we've got some really good, some guest co-hosts lined up, right, Gina? I think yeah. Tom from Welcome Home Podcast yeah. will be with us next Friday. And then it seems like after that, uh, I know, I'm not sure the exact dates, but I know Matthew Kroll from Imagineering Podcast will be with us. And then Mike Rahman from Geek or, um, Be Our Guest Podcast will be joining us. And I got to get Stacy lined up from uh, our good friends over there at Edcott and the WW Review. Love those people. They are my second podcast family. Can't say enough great things about them. And sooner or later, we'll get Dave to come back on camera with us. So, and thanks for playing, Dave. And thanks, everybody. Thanks and have a great night. And we will see you guys all next Wednesday night. Have a great night, everybody. Bye. Good night. <laughs>